Hello guys, it's Mason here. Welcome back to the channel. You join me at an expected time and place. Crystal Palace have confirmed the signing of Jefferson Lerma from Bournemouth on a free transfer. Um, the first bit of business of the window done. We've got it done nice and early, which is what I like to see. 8th of June it currently is, and he will join Crystal Palace. He will join the squad on the 1st of July when the transfer window officially opens. But he is a Crystal Palace player as you know, as things stand for us, um, agreements have been signed, documents have been made, signed, done, finished, bosh. Do you know what I mean? It's it's amazing. You know, Jefferson Lerma, Bournemouth's player of the year last season. You know, for a team who I thought was going to finish bottom of the league last season, who actually finished fifteenth. Good season for Bournemouth and a great season for Jefferson Lerma. He's top. Uh, scoring season so far as a player. Um, five goals across 37 Premier League games last season. While that stat doesn't sound very promising, A, it's more than any Palace midfielder scored in the Premier League, bar Eze, and it's the most... Um, you know, he, he, he was top scorer for Bournemouth, I think, Jefferson Lerma. You know, a solid player, and he's, he, he is very solid in that midfield. And I think it was needed, in a sense... Of the fact that, you know, we saw the departures of James MacArthur, Luka Milivojevic and Sambi Lukonga going back to Arsenal as well. So I do think a midfielder was needed, like, but just one midfielder. We've got so many midfielders now. We've got Jefferson Lerma, we've got Cheik Ducore, Ebere Eze, Elise could drop in there. We've got Hughes, Jeffrey Schlupp. Um, you know, still got Riedewald in this squad as well. So, you know, it's not... We don't need midfielders. That's part of me that's saying we don't need him. We need striker because I think Mateta's leaving. So we need a striker. We need a backup left back. I've said this for so long now. And we need a right back. I've Joel Ward has signed a one-year deal. But do we need another right back to, you know, hopefully get a better position there? I think so. Um, but looking at the positive side, we've got Jefferson Roma on a free Bournemouth player of the year. It's I, I find it quite good, you know. He he was a good player against Palace. He was probably the main threat on the pitch. So he played all but one game. Can't find where that one game was, but I think he played both games against Palace. And ultimately, we beat them two 0 both times. Um, more well, of this season slash last season, we beat them both times two 0 But Lerma was probably their most you know, dangerous player on the pitch. And yeah, it was just brilliant, you know, brilliant to watch. And, you know, brilliant to know that we've got him. Um, finally, you know, it's been in contention for our long two, two weeks now. So at least we've got him in squad depths, um, improving slightly. And will progress be made? The thing is, right, obviously, when we get in towards the season and seeing how he plays, we can see if we needed him or not. You know, depending on the manager that we get in as well, because Hodgson has now, well, he hasn't left yet, but he will be leaving. Um, you know, he'll be leaving um, unless he signs a, a contract or we'll be getting a new manager. Will it fit his play style? The, the, the manager, whoever comes in, it might be Graham Potter. It might be uh, Roy Hodgson. It might be, you know, some other managers in contention as well. But there we go, guys. I'm going to keep it nice and short and sweet. I'm very pushed for time. I have a, um, a big exam tomorrow. I'm doing my A-levels and I've got a massive exam tomorrow. So I'm going to love you and leave you there, guys. We've signed Lerma. Obviously, Colombian International. Brilliant uh, signing, I feel. You know, improved squad depth slightly. So, you know, all, all good there. And I'm going to uh, see you guys next time. Like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you soon.